What's the most important growth metric for your app? Let's talk about that in this episode of Appetizers. Welcome to another episode of Appetizers, a new video series featuring bite-sized insights for app developers. I'm Max from Google AdMob, and today's topic, we'll be talking about what's the most important growth metric for your app. In our last episode, we talked about how the secret to rapid app growth is actually to not focus on growth at first, but to instead focus on user engagement. Filling a leaky bucket with more water doesn't really make sense. In the same way, getting more users to an unengaging app isn't a winning strategy. Likewise, the most important growth metric to focus on first isn't a traditional growth metric at all. You should be focusing on a metric that accurately measures user engagement for your app. For example, a casual gaming app may care about the percentage of users that return to their app each day, while a lyrics app, that is, an app filled with a repository of popular lyrics, may care about the number of contributions to the database that a user makes every month. It really all depends. You need to think through your app and what makes most sense for you. Even though there isn't a single number for every app, picking your number is really, really important. Big and small developers alike need focus. You need a single metric that you can rally your entire team behind. Everyone working on your business should be able to evaluate their daily tasks and projects, asking, how does this drive our key metric? To help you pick your user engagement metric, here are two defining questions to guide your brainstorming. Question one, what metric proves my product works and solves the problem that it sets out to solve for users? It may seem obvious, but it's essential to return to basic first principles and clearly articulate why your app exists. What problem do users have that you're trying to solve and what measurable metrics indicate that you're solving that problem? For example, a weather app exists to help users make decisions because of the weather. How could you measure that your weather app is actually doing that for users? Well, if users are coming back and opening the app regularly, that's probably a really great sign that your app is valuable. The frequency of visits from users is what actually matters. What isn't important is how long they're actually spending in your app. In fact, maybe the less time they spend in your app is a good thing. Users get what they need and then get on with their day. On the other hand, a casual gaming app should care a lot about duration. Measuring how long users are spending in a casual gaming app correlates directly with how addictive and fun the game is. Be sure to think through your app and determine what Google Analytics metric best correlates with your goal for your users. Question two, how often should you check for progress? Should you be looking at your metric daily, monthly, quarterly? Again, this all depends on your app. Think through how often you expect users to return to your app. If you think they should be visiting once a week, then checking daily might be excessive. And that's it. Combining the answer to questions one and two should give you the information you need to pick your user engagement metric. To help make things a bit clearer, here are the final user engagement numbers that we think would work best for our two examples, the weather app and the casual gaming app. If you found this information useful and want to learn more, be sure to download our new ebook, The No Nonsense Guide to Growing Your App. Also, leave any questions and let us know what you think in the comments below. Next episode, we're going to be discussing how to collect the right data to improve your app. See you next time.